Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I've got an 85 millimeter power whoop with HD zero video on board. I'm Jeff with Titan FPV. Let's dive in. Hold up. Stop what you're doing right now. Go ahead and click that subscription button and click that notification bell so you'll be sure to get all the new content that I release on the channel. Now back to the video. It did take a while for me to bring this build to you guys. I did have some issues uh, with the flight controller setup. I'll go into that in a bit. Um, but I did want to share this build with you guys. Now, uh, HD Zero is very popular now with uh, us who fly micros. I believe it's the best option currently to get HD video on board. Uh, but I went on a different route than uh, the 75 millimeter option. I went with an 85 millimeter frame. Now this is the iFly Alpha. AHD frame. Pick this one up on Amazon. I'll post a link in the video description. And I just built this one up to run 2S. So let's go over the components here. Um, like I said, it is an 85 millimeter whoop. So it is running a two inch prop. These are the Gemfan 2015s. Um, we're using these Newbie Drone Flow. 11,420 kV motors. They're 1202 in size. For the video system, I did state it's HD zero. I'm running the original Whoop VTX that's power switchable from 25 on up to 200 milliwatts. The camera is the HD zero Nano 16 by nine camera. Out back, I've got the True RC OCP right hand circular polarized UFL antenna. I've got it attached with some strain relief. Jai Smith, one of the ExpressLRS developers, posted this link to the STL file. I'll also post that in the video description. Um, just put some strain relief on your UFL connector in case you have a crash. It won't rip the UFL connector from the board or there's less likely of a chance. Uh, for the flight controller and all-in-one ESC, I'm running the Darwin FPV, it's a 1 to 3S board, 15 amp, so it gives you some more overhead. Uh, like I said, I'm only running this on 2S. Previously, I did have an issue there. I ran the JHMCU uh, Play 4, which is a 1 to 2S board, but it's only got a 5 amp ESC, along with the uh, one of the Crazy BF4 boards, so it was a V2. It also had a 5 amp ESC. So, guys, don't you don't want to try these motors on a 5 amp ESC because you will burn the ESC. I burned two of them. Just figured I had those boards on hand and uh, I was just going to give it a go. So, I did the work for you guys to say that hey, you don't want to run that. Now, for the receiver, I am running Express LRS, of course. This is the Happy Model. You might be able to see it tucked in here. Happy Model EP2 with the ceramic antenna. No fail safe in here. We do have the 40 millimeter MIPI cable connecting the VTX to the camera. We're running an XT30 connector. Uh, this is the included battery strap. I don't have a battery pad. I'm running a toilet tanked. And uh, I did remove the capacitor from this board it just wouldn't fit in the current pre-soldered configuration. And I'm only running this on 2S. I, I don't need a cap. I haven't had any issues with the uh, video feed. All right, let's get away for you guys. Dry weight is 60, about 61 grams. I flew it primarily on these TBS Graphene 2S300 HVs. Looks like it's 80.6 grams. And also these GNB 300 HVs. 80.2 grams. You can fly it with a 450 or a 552S for uh, potentially longer flight times, but I feel like the performance did suffer. 
So this is gonna be considerably heavier than an analog whoop. You could shave some weight uh, with a smaller canopy, but um, I just wanted to use this one for ease of use and it came with the kit. It also comes with a micro size canopy uh, with the iFlight kit. In comparison, my analog power whoop is coming in at 44, uh, almost 45 grams, about 15 gram difference between the two of these. I am running Betaflight 4.2.11. 4.3 is out now, but at the time of the build, I went ahead and built it up with uh, 4.2.11 because that's what I'm familiar with. 4.3 was still in release candidate status when I completed the build. It is running uh, Blue Jay for RPM filtering. I believe I have it at 48 kilohertz. I'll post the beta flight setup. It is just the UAV Tech Whoop preset for 4.2. That's performed well for me. And that's generally what I fly on my quads is his uh, presets. They work well for me. So I didn't really experience much y'all wash out. The voltage drops later in the pack. May have got some going into dives, but uh, for the most part, you're able to power it out and not really have uh, an issue with prop wash. I am running props out. I went with these uh, by blades uh, to improve the flight time. I'm getting about two minutes on one of those 2S300 HVs charged to high volt. You could shave some weight with this canopy. That's the main change that I would potentially make. You could use an SPI, onboard SPI Express LRS board. I know they may not be supporting that with 3.0 and above. You may be able to do a custom build for your specific board. So I'm not really sweating that. I do have Darwin FPV does have a board with onboard Express LRS. I believe it's ten dollars more, so you're paying thirty nine ninety nine for the uh, board with uh, no receiver, and the SPI Express LRS version is forty nine ninety nine. So, about a ten dollar difference. All in all, it's a great experience. If you have an experience HD on a Whoop, it is a big deal. Uh, there's not multi pathing like you're going to get on analog. So all that breakup, you can see uh, branches blades of grass unlike other hd systems hd zero in my opinion is the way to go especially if you're flying smaller craft like whoops 85 millimeters is light enough and small enough to fly safely indoors you're not going to be hitting gaps like you will on a 65 millimeter whoop but uh, it does give you the best of both worlds and in strong winds uh, you're not going to get blown around like you would on a lighter or a smaller propped whoop so i believe this is a good mix uh, it's kind of an all-purpose quad that uh, you can definitely have fun indoors when the weather's bad and uh, also enjoy the outdoors when the weather is permitting at my house it is very windy generally so i didn't have any issues flying this in heavy winds or heavier winds rather if you got any questions about the build i'll post the specs or the bill sheet here in the video description along with some affiliate links feel free to use those or don't use them uh, it does help the channel i do have another digital whoop coming to the channel but you don't get to know what that is just kidding i picked up the mobula 6 hd zero this will be coming to the channel shortly. I just received it today in the mail from Good Venture Drones. Uh, they shipped it out quick as always. I'll post a link for that in the video description. If they still have stock, you may want to grab one because I believe the only places that had these previously were Maker Fire and XT, XT Night. So it's a U.S. Uh, location. Uh, shout out to them. Stay tuned for more HD Zero content. Got a lot of exciting stuff coming to the channel. Leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one.